The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the management and staff of Guardian Radio. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hearts Grants is brought to you by Alive, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Duty Free Caribbean, Easy Car Sales, Every Kelly's Home Center, New Life, Popeyes, Prince Masters, and Ron's Electric Motors. The Foundation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect on this beautiful December 11th. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Gabriel Grant's birthday. My uh, youngest son, he's six years old today, so he's celebrating his birthday. Happy to be able to do that. Uh, Going to be able to do a little, you know, do a little thing at school and whatnot. So happy birthday, Gabriel. Daddy loves you very much. I pray your health and strength in the Lord and continue to be able to move in the direction he calls you to be able to move in with tenacity, with uh, this kind of a passion and determination. I uh, just pray that he covers you and move you in the direction that he's called you to move in in this life. Happy birthday. That's my son, Gabriel, your Shannon Grant, celebrating six years old today, his sixth birthday today. Guys, if you're celebrating a birthday, I want to say happy birthday to you. All those persons celebrating birthday, celebrating everything that you're celebrating right now, we celebrate with you. Cheers. Mazel tov. As you continue to be able to move forward with strength and uh, with virtue and hopefully in your convictions being able to do those things. So it's a beautiful day. Grateful to be out here in the land of the living. Guys, got to shout out my good, decent people. AFS insurance agents and brokers, they got everything laid out for you. Make sure you go and check them out in the Christmas season. Uh, we are almost two weeks in and you need to insure your car before next year. No need to ride dirty. I know that there's going to be a rich resolution in <laughs> the Royal Bahamas Police Force. They are going to be out in all numbers to be able to change this perception that continues to be able to, this great cloud that looms over the force right now. So get yourself prepared, guys. Go down there the AFS insurance agents and brokers. They can take very good care of you. 3411-AFS. 3411-AFS. Get your car insured. If you're looking for something uh, residential, commercial, they can be able to assist you in those areas. Ask for my good friend, Ethric Bow. Or Mr. Richardson, he could be able to take very good care of you in that sort of a space down there. Check him out. Uh, 3411 AFS, number 407, Blue Hill Road South. Uh, guys, tomorrow's Small Business Thursday. Like I told you, I'm going to be down at New Life, okay? So I know you want to be able to do something with me on Small Business Thursday. We made some modifications. We may have Ian come in on Friday. See if we can be able to kind of come on Friday. But uh, for the most part, if you want to be able to do something, give me a call, 827-0111, 827-0111. We can be able to make some things happen, all right? Uh, make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper, all the information's in there. You can be able to read that and see exactly what's what the Prime Minister. Our reputation unfairly tarnished relationship with the U.S. intact. This is what Davis says. Let's read a little piece of this, Prime Minister Davis. Prime Minister Philip Brave Davis said yesterday that the recent U.S. indictment, which alleges corruption in the country's police and defense force, and among government officials is unfairly, unfairly, which is bananas to say. Isn't that crazy? How could it be unfairly? This is something that they did whilst 
engaged in uniform branches with the responsibility of being able to look over the security of the country. How could this possibly be unfair when we find out? I just want to... Anyway, let's read the thing. So, uh, officials, it's unfairly tarnishing the Bahamas. Nobody put this in... Let's be decent. Let's talk about it, right? He says, I did call the U.S. charge of the affair in to speak to her about these things, and she explained that she didn't know about it herself. But she said, but this, this, this is it, but said it has nothing to do with our relationship. Our relationship in this indication, in this instance, I'm into it. Does it does he mean our relationship as it, rela as it relates to the Bahamas and the United States of America, or our relationship in terms of the relationship that we have from a professional standpoint within this particular space. I just need to understand. Is this person to person or country to country? Is this diplomatic relationship? What are we talking about? And so it goes on to talk about these things. It says, uh, I had the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which is Fred Mitchell, speak to the State Department to tell them what my views are on what they did, on what they did, and they said it had nothing to do with our relationship. This is a lot. This is a lot. Now, this one was clear for me. This was a, our relationship between the United States of America as a partner and an ally with the Bahamas. Okay? Uh, it says, I'm not going to allow this little country where I am leading to be tarnished unfairly. This is peculiar that he would say this after these things continue to mount up over the course of time. Now, when it reached the tipping scale, now we want to be able to take on this kind of a position to say, I will never let these things happen. But you allowed it to fester. You allowed it to grow, to mount, to build to this particular point by not checking your people when you're supposed to check them. Let's be decent. And so it goes on and says, um, the indictment filed in the Southern District of New York was unsealed two weeks ago. It names Bahamians including a chief superintendent of police, police sergeant, and Royal Bahamas Defense Force chief petty officer. Two Colombians were also named. The indictment alleges that the corrupt police officers and government officials, let's go to A5, and government officials conspired with Bahamian and Colombian drug traffickers to ship tons of cocaine to the Bahamas, into the United States of America. It alleges that the conspiracy began in or about May 2021. Davis said that he had noticed that the drug, that the drug, uh, where are we? Hold on, let me just pull this up. He conspired, I'm sorry guys, I just lost my thing. Davis said that he noticed that the drug Interactions were on the rise. It said between 2017 and 2020, authorities seized two million. It was that two. I'm sorry, 2,461 and 37 pounds of cocaine. In 2021, they seized nearly double that, 4,672.96 pounds of cocaine. I spoke to the U.S. authorities and said to, and asked them, "What is happening?" Davis said, from my experience, nothing can leave from the south to go to the north without the north knowing. This is heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't talk about this today. And I won't talk about this kind of an hour. Who is our? When, when you hear that our relationship is intact, is this a platonic relationship that continues to be able to exist between two government entities? Or this kind of a relationship that, and the bond uh, that is strong between two entities, internal, from an administrative standpoint. I don't know. And I won't talk about it. 323-622-3235-4316-325-4259. Anywhere from the family of violence, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, Porto 2479, $685 million deficit in the first quarter of the fiscal year. Uh, this is information right here. Boleg, is uh, Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture, Boleg said that yesterday that he's confident that the Jungle Parade will take place despite the recent 
confusion over whether the, the groups are claiming to be the Valley Boys should be allowed to participate in the A Division. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting with me is none other than my very good friend, Goth Roseboro. Goth, say good afternoon to the people out there. Uh, good afternoon, Howard Grant. Hello to the Guardian staff, Guardian Radio, you, the listeners of the show, you people all over the world who are tuning in. I want to say a very good afternoon to you. It's beautiful here in the Bahamas today, but of course, as usual, sitting here with Howard Grant, uh, we quickly zoom into the issues and the excitement of the day. And there's a whole lot of talk, Howard Grant, going on throughout our country and abroad about our country. Um, we have to be very mindful, I would say, about propaganda, Howard Grant, uh, to follow the news uh, should be the order of the day, but we also know that media has a role to play also in the conditioning of the mindset of the people. And the one thing that I've discovered uh, throughout the course of the week that I've not seen you, uh, people are speaking on the ground, but it's not a good conversation, Howard Grant, for the government. It's been a conversation. But the issue has been Howard Grant change to who or change to what. Let's dive right into this today. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want I don't want to be able to skirt around in this shallow pool about what's happening in our country. We've seen this. We've seen this before. This is not unfamiliar to us. I don't want to get into the deep nuances of what I believe that has happened in 1987, that has happened in 2002, that has happened in 2012, that has happened in now. I don't want to get into that. That every time that we've seen the PLP win from 1987 to now, there has been a major interference as it relates to the governance of what's happening. As I continue to watch, I just watch it. I just want to be decent. I ain't saying nothing. I just saying, this is what I'm seeing. You're saying that there may be someone behind the curtain, a puppet master. That's I don't know if it's a puppet this. master. I can't say that. I, I can't. I can't say who it is. I can just say it's peculiar that at the inflection of when persons indicated that the PLP stole the election in 1987, the modification came with the introduction of Hubert Ingram into the Free National Movement and the introduction of the Indelible Ink, which was almost ingenious, mm -hmm. right? This kind of a concept and idea that led, that led the country in political sessions or seasons in 92 and in 97 without external interference, Let's go back to it. We did not see significant external interference in 1992, that dispensation up to 97, and from 1997, that dispensation up to 2002. Can you define uh, interference? International, quote, unquote, scandal. Mm. The last time we would have seen this, quote, unquote, scandal, is when our former prime minister, who's no longer with us, Lyndon Pinlin, would have been able to sit on live television coming out of the United States of America, being able to hit an interview that we've consumed over time. Mm -hmm. So that was international. ABC. International. Mm -hmm. Okay? We didn't see that happen up in 2000, and, I mean, up in 92. 92, the biggest thing that happened was... The Commission of Inquiry. Okay. But that was as a result of what happened prior. Yes. It was not associated with what was happening in the government of the day, the government in the sunshine, which was the free national movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. 1997, we didn't see this. 97, 98, 99. The biggest thing we had in this country that was a worldwide recognition about the possibility of we not knowing what was going to happen in 1999 is when we were supposed to roll over to Y2K. It's peculiar you mentioned that, Howard Grant, because what you're telling me is that the Prime Minister of 1992 election okay. uh, was also a former member of the previous administration and the previous government. Okay. And so him coming in 1992 was a result of him knowing and understanding what it would take to break the PLP's reign. Okay. And stuff that you spoke about. But he couldn't do this by himself. So he got help from someone else is what you're saying. He had to get help. I'm, I'm saying the support that he got, the support that he got from the Free National Movement, the support that he got with these particular things, 
led him to a position where he made modification. This is very deep, and we have to be able to string these things together properly. So if you're ever to change government, you're saying that that comes by way of international assistance. We are not able as a people to change on our own. We have changed on our own. Every single dispensation after 2002. But 2002, the scandal that rocked the Christie administration placed the country in a position of being able to reject him and reject the administration because of the scandals that were unearthed and brought to the forefront. So scandals were present. Yes. Uh, before 1992. Yes. 87 to 92. And it's and almost like 92 emerged. to 99 to 2002. Yeah, no scandals. You used to, it ain't like, there's nothing like these men was, it wasn't nothing to talk about. No. Nothing to talk about. So 2002, we go back. 2002. We go back. And then all of a sudden. The scandal. Scandal. Why? No Two, one knew who Alan was. 2007. Mm -hmm. 2007 to 2012. Only the road. Only, only the, the road. road. We only talk about the road. An idea of gerrymandering, which was never really pronounced. Yes. Everything was the road. It was basically the road. Yeah. 2012 to 2017 now. What, what scandal we had? Sarkis International. Mm -hmm. It's Marillion. $3.4 billion. Mm -hmm. And the PLP putting all their eggs into this particular basket. So 2017 to 2021, we had Dorian and we had... A shift in administration and COVID leadership in the free national movement. So whatever happened was no longer on the former leadership of the free national movement. This was a new era, new dispensation, new leadership. The Ingram era is over. 2017 to 2021. So 21 Two years is really quiet. We kick off with FDX. Right. And, and, and your boy, um, what's his name again? Nygaard. And, and all the rest of that good stuff. Okay, now, see now, we should be getting somewhere. <laughs> you see why I'm getting with this? You sort of Wednesday. No, I'm just trying to be decent with you to try to make you to understand something. If we can't just look at the words on the paper. You can't just look at the, the logos of the situation. We have to do something and understand the Rima. We have to understand the interpretation of what's happening out here. I am saying to you, look at what happened in 87. Look at what happened in 2002. Look what happened in 2012. Look what's happening now. Why is the PLP always seemingly an international standpoint? Why? Maybe that's why Brave had church with the past system yesterday. He but what, like, what he said didn't make sense because he, he, he should have known that we was going to read this. Yeah, he must think they cause. He, he No, no, no. He should have known that we are going to read this, our reputation unfairly tarnished. This has nothing to do with the reputation of the Bahamas. Whose reputation is it? This is the PLP's reputation. This has nothing to do with the reputation of the Bahamas. I just spill this out for you. I just make you to understand every dispensation. There is international, in, uh, uh, some sort of... Uh, so if I'm not a injunction, PLP, if I'm not a PLP, then should I feel the tinge of this particular? You're a Bahamian. Okay. You're a Bahamian. Okay. But this is happening under the banner of the PLP administration, mm -hmm. and as a Bahamian, this is shameful, point blank. Now, corruption existed through all administrations. There's some form of corruption. Some form of corruption existed through all administrations in this country, all, including the Free National Movement. Mm. including the free national movement. When we wake up one morning, we go to bed on Friday. By the time we wake up on Monday morning, Hubert Ingram then shuffle the cabinet. The corruption, you forget this. Don't, don't forget these things. But okay, but has there been a shuffle for this particular administration? Yes. Minim minimal. Yes. Keith Bell, that was it. Keith Bell. No, not just Keith Bell. Keith Bell, I think they took off. Um... Oh, yeah, your boy up in um, Water and Sewage. They removed him from Water and Sewage. Then they removed your guy from BAIC. They took Sudden the, Shorts. They also took the. Um... Sudden Shorts, Leroy Major. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and they made they took some power sack from some people, right? Uh, I think Kirk Connors just got his power secretary um, uh, reinstated in this particular position. Um, they had made some modifications within the organization. Howard, let me tell you what I think the biggest laugh is for me today. Like, and can I say this? Is it okay I can read this? I, I want you to read it. If it's in the paper, read it. I am hearing from world leaders seeking advice, seeking guidance, and seeking my participation in some events other to that. Was that there? 
You see what I'm talking? Right yeah, I see, I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you. I see you got your light on. You can't see it. Daily, I'm hearing from world leaders, seeking uh -huh. advice, seeking guidance, and seeking my participation in some event uh -huh. or, or, or other uh, to the point where sometimes they feel that if I'm not there, it's not good, which mm. is, which is, which is, <laughs> I don't want to laugh. I just want to be decent. But I couldn't even finish, I couldn't, I couldn't even finish read it even with the light. I can't read it that. It would not be good. <laughs> but, but other standing, <laughs> <laughs> but our standing has been very much improved. The indictment has set off a firestorm in the Bahamas. Last week, Davis announced that the commissioner of police, Clayton Fernando, resigned <laughs> as police chief. Two of the officers named in the indictment were arrested in Florida. Listen. Oh, I'm trying to put light on this thing. I'm trying to read this thing. This is what I said. I, I, I don't see the Guys, the line's, are, the line's open. I can come to you right now. I see this one line. This is what I said. Because I, you just got to set the base in here. This is what I said. The world needs our advice. I need you to understand something. This is what I said. And this is why I say, come sit with me today. Introduce this concept and idea of a New Day administration. They came to us and they gave us this beautiful document that I carry with me every day. Vision 2040? Yeah. Oh, you got a copy? Of course I do. Okay. This is what I do, sir. I got to do this. This big bag. You thought it was it's good for something, mate. No, but but I, I, I know the tourists come here with a bag, too, with newspaper. No. I just leave it something. So no, I no. figure you always carry a bag so you can carry something. No, I carry this with me every day to be able to ingest. That's a pretty book. And to be able to see these That's particular pretty. things. Look at yeah. the pretty pictures. They told me that um, Ginger Moxie did this. It's beautiful. Right? So if we look at this and we ingest this information and understand this, the PLP made a covenant with the Bohemian people. And this is their commitment. When we engaged ourselves with them, when they engaged us to say what they were going to do, we made a covenant with them and gave them an opportunity. They mm -hmm. gave us a manuscript. They gave us a, a, a constitution to indicate that this is what you can be able to hold us by. Beautifully put together. Okay, so as we look at this constitution and look at this particular manuscript and identify these particular things, their 10-point plan, all these stuff, we realize that they're falling short significantly. Do they realize that? I don't know. I don't know. But this was the formality of a concept for a New Day administration. This was the formality to indicate that we're no longer our former self, that we have regenerated. Like a phoenix gone back and rise from the ashes, if you afford us another opportunity, you can be able to see a New Day. And what we With saw. Brave Davis and everyone come like a choir to talk about his uh Connection, his community-mindedness, his ability to assist. Everyone speaks of Brave Davis in his particular capacity in the same light. Mm -hmm. Brave is a giver. He's a this, he's a that. Mm -hmm. The entire country was convinced and provided Brave Davis the opportunity. an opportunity. And we got scandal again. Now, <laughs> after things are gone awry, <laughs> after all the eggs, because he did the exact same thing that Perry Christie did, Perry Christie put all of his basket, all of his eggs in the basket of Bahama. Every egg he had, he took it in that one basket. What a brave too. And you know what Perry Christie also said? He said that this is going to be my legacy after 40 years. After 40 years! A generation he was in the House of Assembly. A generation he served the Bahamian people. Then, at the very end, as his proverbial political steps have gotten slower and his political eyes have gotten dimmer, he now concerns himself with a legacy. This is what he said out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. This is going to be his legacy. Okay, so they gave Bahama an issue and Bahama was riddled with problems. Mm -hmm. The only semblance of revival that Perry Christie would have gotten after that, after he's put all his eggs in this basket, was them opening the House of Assembly in Bahama when the PLP was sworn in, 2021. That's the only thing that was able to bounce back. And as he looked at the, the sort of edifice that is Bahama, he could be able to say, I did well. Yeah, but people don't remember that. But I remember it, and that's all that matters. Let me tell you what people remember on the street. People remember him saying, you could go to God, but you got to come see me first. Okay. That's what they remember. Okay. I just tell them what they remember. Now, I want you to hear me now. I want you to hear me now. It seems as though after Brave put all his eggs into... Climate change. Climate change. Mm -hmm. And the world has shifted. And the power of the world, mm -hmm. which is the United States of America, has shifted to go back to traditional concepts to put Americans to work. Mm -hmm. He's now left holding the bag. But nothing in this bag. 
orange economy, green economy, blue economy, every other economy, but we ain't seen no money yet. Okay. So watch me. Mm -hmm. The PLP, I said this, they had a parallel campaign. One campaign was international. The prime minister could be the prime minister of climate change. I said this to you. I said, but locally, he's lackluster, not doing what he needs to do. He needs to focus on his people because people call on the radio every day saying, oh, well, you know, I got no contract and Brave need to take care of us and Brave in this. They're doing their best. They say, but Brave is a great man. I know he got a good heart and this and that. But there's always a conjunction. But they always hit me with a conjunction about Brave Davis in his capacity. Now I'm watching the language of our prime minister. That has reverted to the exact same posture of the PLP of old. That's all I'm seeing now. You know, it, it, I'm going to let you go to the this line. This language and this posture is not a New Day administration commitment and covenant that you made with us. I don't like it, Howard. I'm going to let you go to the line, but I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that you go to church to try to uh, uh, huddle all these pastors together and corral them like sheep. And say, listen, I need your help. I think that's what's happening. You go into the church now to tell the church pastors to go there now and talk to your members and let the members them know to give us another chance. That's what I see through all that smoke screen. I don't like it. Well, um, uh, I got to take this quick commercial break. I see a telephone call. You have, please forgive me. I wanted to put the foundation out there first to be able to talk about it. Quick commercial break. Going to be right back after this. Foundation. It's that time of year again, and Colombian Emeralds International wants to show our appreciation to you, our valuable customers, with our annual Customers Appreciation Day Sale. 50% plus an additional 15% off on Friday, December the 13th and Saturday, December the 14th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at their Rawson Square and Port Lokaya Freeport locations. There'll be prizes and surprises every hour. So come and celebrate this holiday season with some sparkle and give the gift of memories that will last a lifetime with Columbia and Kelly's House and Home be your one-stop shop this holiday season. We have Christmas decorations, beautiful giftware, linens for every room in your home, paint, and of course, toys. If you don't know what to buy someone, we can recommend a Kelly's House and Home gift card. Site at kellysbahamas.com to make your shopping even easier with in-store pickup. We're open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and on Sundays through December 22nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Foundation. Found, foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hit me up. 323 623 Anywhere from the family of islands, 242 Hit me up. Or you can hit me up uh, 422-4796 on the text line. Let me go right to the line. Call on the line. Go ahead. Hey, Howard. Hey. Hi, Howard. How you doing? I want to know, I want to know if you have to be an FNM to wake at this station. Why? Because this is the most biased talk show station in the world. Okay. That, like, you realize you realize the PLP downtown, right? You okay. You're downtown screaming like a little girl. You're downtown screaming. Sir, yeah, don't, and, you see, what, there's a couple of things you ain't going to do. One of them is you ain't going to play with me like that. You ain't going to diss me. If you want to have a conversation, we could do that. But you ain't going to diss me. It's a big man. I don't play things like that. Rodney Monka say, I too big to be like a man. I just want to be decent. I, said, I just want to be decent. Uh, now, if you want to talk and ask these particular questions, I try to set something up. This ain't got nothing to do with the PLP. I am saying, is there opposition against the PLP strategically from an external standpoint? That's what I'm asking. That I'm placing against the PLP, if you had the, the sort of inclination to go beyond your political emotions, you would recognize that I'm structuring something for you to understand that this might be bigger than you and me. You know, you know what, you know what aggravates me though? Um, and you know, no, no personal disrespect to the caller. 
most people in life have a bias. And the minute your bias isn't their bias, they have an issue. Bahamian people, let me say something to you. Grow the hell up, man. Grow up. You cannot always be on the winning team. Sometimes the team that you own, they're not qualified to compete. And when that happens, you cannot forgive them for such behavior. The reason why the country is the way it is now is because of ignorant individuals in our country who fail to see beyond a doggone color. I'm so sick and tired of you people, man. Y'all are getting on my last nerve. You want the country to do better, but as, as long as you get a contract, and as long as you find favor, and as long as you feel comfortable, to hell with the rest of everybody. If everyone else doesn't feel the same way you feel, to hell with you, get out the way, because there are many people in this country who are not comfortable, who are not happy, who are not satisfied, who are totally embarrassed at news every day in this country. You promise to take care of crime. You promise to deal with immigration. You promise to deal with job security. And where the hell are you? They they bra they waving for brave. I don't care about no waving for brave. These people need to eat. These people need to live. They don't know that, obviously. My God, I, I saw oh, a I... young man the other night. Man, see, he just pissed me off, man. The, the man the other night, the young man called me and said, Mister God, how in the hell could a young person get a house in this country when you can't even get a freaking job? You're trying to make a job happen, and they gotta go through this all this red tape, the reading, the writing. To, to, you give the paper to the people to submit for your business license. They lost the paper unless they give them a tip. It, didn't the paper say 75% of the people around here tip, 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 tip? Everybody gotta pay off somebody to get something around here. We have no international investors in this country right now, Howard Grant. You know why? Because they gotta tip people too to get something established in our own country. No industry, no manufacturing. No new hotel, no new nothing. No integrity. Nothing in this country for you, the Bahamian people. I'm so sick and tired of these one-sided people. To hell with you, man. To hell with you. Go march down Bay Street. I hope you march and get something. Because they already gave you a little $1,500. That's what you're marching for. To get something. I, I apologize, Howard Grant. This is your show. I'm not going to fight you. But, but I, I, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm not going to fight you. Sell your country out for a couple little dollars to go buy your little, your little uh, grits and tuna. Go, go, keep, man, see, listen, get see, away from me, man. I'm trying to be able to crowd something hell away from bigger. Me. Huh? I'm trying to... You, see, the intellectuals... You can't educate understand. ignorant people, Howard. I'm not trying to educate You can't him. Ignorate, uh, educate stupid people. I'm not trying to educate him. I'm only trying to be able to, to illuminate him. He, he can't, he can't, he can't do that. He can't be so deep down the hole. Okay, so let's do this. Jesus, man. Let, let's, let's, let's do this. I, 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 this is... I am asking... I am asking oh, in so many words, is there a conspiracy afoot against the oldest political organization in this country? That's all I'm asking. The man say you one side of you F and M. That's all I all, but I'm asking a question. I, 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 I'm asking a question for the BLP. The other man call you that day say, say, how are you treating the F and M so bad? What the hell you want people us to do? We here telling they you. Cuss me out for the F and M, cuss me out for the BLP. BLP. Cuss out for COI. Yeah. Everybody wanna cuss you out. Yeah. So 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 who you can cuss me on for again today? Praise God. I can take the cussing. Before the show over, they can cuss you for saying what? You 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 cussing the PLP. For you, Michael you, Pentard. You're cussing out because of Michael Pentard. Yeah. And then you they can cuss you out because you ain't talking about COI. What the hell you want me to do? That's okay. It's okay. That's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. I can take the cussing. Jeez. Let me take the next telephone call. Caller, go ahead. How are you, God? Calm yourself, time. Hey, baby. What's up? You okay? I live in giving God praise. I, I'm right here. God can need some. He can need some no kind apologies. of. Take no apologies for how you feel. He can need to calm down. Ninety <laughs> percent. How do you justice up there? What What you need, you God? You need some. Uh, carry on that way. After hmm? the show. After the show, you find some cool off after the show. show. <laughs> <laughs> I talk in my business. You ain't gonna put that in no newspaper, no social media. You gotta look around and make sure anyone got no camera rolling when you get these things. <laughs> okay. well, I just call and say. Um, I listen to God was talking about do you get into this, you get into that. The sums it all up, you benefit me. Yeah. Okay? And we need to stop being selfish. Yes. Think about Bahamians with everybody affiliated with no party. Mm -hmm. And that's what is really be the ones to vote these governments out. And I tell persons to don't be these political colors, you know. See these people on the, from outside in. I spoke with someone um, yesterday. At least I just started a conversation with you know, when the, gent, the guy was saying, um, who you prefer, the PLP or the FNM? So he said, I prefer the PLP. So the lady said, why? Because under the PLP, you just eat. <laughs> then under the FNM, you just starve. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, 
Well, how do you know that's when I came in, right? Oh, her voice. <laughs> so wow. I said to him, I said, excuse me? I said, you rather starve. I, I said, I'd rather starve than to get hand out. Okay? I say the PLP is always for people laughing and for country. i rather a government be for country than to be for people. Mm. Because if you can be for people and just for the people who support you, I don't see how that's benefiting the country. Mm. So, of course, I can be for country. Because once you be for country, I mean, everybody benefits. Okay? And as soon as we see that, then we won't have a problem. I like that. I appreciate That's the telephone I'm call. Thank you, Madea. I do appreciate your telephone call. Thank you so very kindly for that. Somebody texted me and said, Howard, don't forget uh, the fire fest, right? The fire fest. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. That's with, down in Soma. With, with Ja Rule. I can't remember the boy. Name. And John right? Travolta, right? And then somebody texts me again and say, Howard, don't forget John Travolta. I need y'all to understand something. Can you see this picture that I took? They can't see that. You have to look at... I, listen, we are on public radio. We are on public radio. You cannot be so blind that you don't understand what I'm saying to you. Okay, this is what you do. Let me fix it now. Let me fix it. Challenge them to find a scandal. 2002. What was the scandal associated with? It was an international scandal all over the world. Right here uh, uh, in the Bahamas. 2002. I'll give you a hint. Do you like my body? All right. 2002. 2012. International, you all have to understand what I'm saying to you. I am not levying any leg, uh, uh, allegations against the PLP. I am asking a question. I'm asking a question. And the question is, is there a target on your back? You, you, you had to say that? I have to ask you. Is there no. a target on your back? You, you, Are you so naive? Are you so blind that you cannot see that there's something wrong here? Something got to be wrong. Like the cameras only turn on in these particular years. When you reach. That's it. When you reach, so that can't see the that. camera on. Bam! Now, 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 let me show you how... But listen, I can just say it, man. Uh, this, the, this the people radio. We got to be decent on this space. Yeah, but the man, ignorant, you trying to tell the man somebody watching yeah, you he and he's yeah. all in and talk about you use F&M he and this is an F&M studio and nonsense no, like that. What, what school these people go to, man? He can't, he can't hear. He can't Jesus, hear. my God, man. He can't hear. Diplomatically, uh, you know, astute and structure it in a particular no. manner that you could be able to take morsels from it, ingest that, and understand what I'm saying. But you need me to give you the milk of the word. My God, I just tried to hit you with a steak. I thought you could chew. You can't chew. I didn't know he had no teeth. You got dentures. I did not know. Crazy. I didn't know. Let me take a next telephone call. Caller, go ahead. Crazy. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. Hey, how is it, God? Good afternoon. Hey, 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 what's up, Jeff? It's been a while that I called in. I spent most of my time just listening to the different commentaries across the various shows. And I'm going to tell you, I came to one conclusion. The conclusion is the truth will be staring you right in the face for what it truly is. Mm -hmm. And I'll be aiming people prefer being the proverbial ostrich to keep their necks, their heads stuck in the sand, pretending as if they don't see what's happening, but because they can eat because their political party is in, they don't care about country. They don't care about the rest of us. They don't care about the reputation or nothing. It's all about their party yes. and these personalities. And a person like me, I am sick and tired. Yes. Sick and tired of the nonsense. Okay? Because our country is going down the crapper. Right now, the, the, the current elect president of the United States referred to several Caribbean countries as the asshole countries. And, you know, uh, from, from that standpoint, he did not mention the Bahamas at all in, the, in that mix. But some of us here, seeing what's going on the ground here, seeing what our politics are all about, seeing the mindsets of our people and, and what they are willing to do to play the proverbial ostrich with their heads in the sand, knowing that persons in their particular political parties are corrupt, corrupt mm -hmm. as hell. They're here as if these guys are kings and queens. We have to stop this nonsense. The reputation of this country is at, at stake. The people in this country are law-abiding, loving people. Our reputations are at stake. Mm -hmm. And yet, these selfish bastards mm -hmm. will allow all of us to go down the hole with them because they can eat. This nonsense must stop. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. You know, because... You know, it's really infuriating 
it, when, when you hear learned people or people who are supposed to be learned with enough intelligence God has blessed us with are acting as a bunch of fools, we must fix this country. There's no other country we can call our own. When this one relegates down to the level that the once beloved Haiti is, then is that when we're going to open our eyes and appreciate what we have? It's a bunch of nonsense, man. I end my diatribe here. Uh, uh, you all continue the conversation. I will continue to listen. God bless all. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. One more call before we get to a quick commercial break. Caller, go ahead. Caller, go ahead. Hey, Alan. Hey, what's up, Anton? Anton, why you just called me just before I got to go to a break? Well, well, you know, we could always continue on the next time, everybody. You know, <laughs> you know, I see this thing, see? Hey, look, God. Yo, Anton, how you doing? Hey, my brother. Anton, happening? before you even hey. start your conversation with me, saying what I said, without trying hey. to be able to dissect it and break it down to the base of what I'm saying, do you understand hmm. that I've identified a threat? I've identified a threat that is hmm. not necessarily uh, in the bosom of the PLP, but simply because you move towards a leadership position, there are external factors that continue to be able to run you down. Well, I, I'm listening intently on everything you've said, Albert. And um, um, I understand where you were trying to go, but I think the challenge is the in-between, the getting there. That's why I think you're going to have a challenge with some of your listeners who are PLPs like myself, right? Although I understand where you are trying to go. What I wanted to add on this side of the, um, uh, the uh, conversation before you go to break, hopefully God's bill, nothing comes up. I can catch you on the next side. I wanted to add that there were many scandals across the f and administration, Howard, mm -hmm. going back to Hubert Ingram, right on down to um, um, uh, Hubert Minnis. Mm -hmm. There were many scandals. There were also arrests on the record, not just arrests, Arrest, plural, mm -hmm. on the record, convictions on the record, on the acronym side of the equation, right? If you want to talk about scandals. I was, now, yeah. now let's be decent. We're not talking about internal scandals and turmoil that exist on a day to day basis. We are Absolutely. international. Absolutely. That carries on CNN, MSNBC, Fox, Al Jazeera, so forth and so on of what happened in Absolutely. the Bahamas. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. now go ahead. And, and that's the level that I'm speaking to as well, right? There are many scandals across the divide of the Athenum administration. Three, three being under Hubert Ingram, former prime minister, um, um, and, and, uh, and one administration being under Hubert Minnis that I could list right now, Howard. And, and the worst of them, the worst of the scandals coming under the former prime minister for the Athenum, Hubert Minnis. The worst of those scandals, Howard. And so, and so, if we want to talk about scandals, there's more than enough to go around. Yeah, right? but you're going to have to put them on the table. If we want to talk about convictions, there are more than enough going right up to um, um, persons being alleged to have, to have been convicted, but the individual who should have been convicted caught away, who was one of the most senior persons in the f and cabinet, right? If you want to go there, Howard, right? Um, um, and these are all facts in the record, recorded and carried by the Guardian newspaper on the talk shows and discussions from from Warren's time to um, um to, to to Carlton's time as the leader to Dwight's time, um, um current, right? Um, um and, and and Howard, you know, let's look at what you said about Terry Christie. You. You falsified a statement there because Christie never said that he's building his legacy on Bahama. Christie's legacy was being built. Hold on, hold on. He said that. He, no, 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 no. But it was Christie not, it was said, I have to consider my legacy. Mm -hmm. yes. This was at his last leg. Yes. This is his I have to. You have to appreciate that a part of Christie's legacy were the anchor properties, okay? Not just Bahama. But let's just look at Bahama. You you, Anton, you have to let me finish on the next side. You get the music. Okay. Let, let's finish right, on, the I'll, I'll on the next side. I'll pick up with you on the next side. Yeah, yeah, we can start right there with Christy. I appreciate you. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get to news. We're going to be right back after this. <laughs> For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. 
For posters and banners, magazines and flyers For window decals, reading cards and newsletters No job too big and there's no job too small You name it, we can print it, just give us a call Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361 The King is at it again with the new Pepperoni Bacon King This big and meaty sandwich has pepperoni, bacon and more pepperoni Piled on that one 100% flame grilled beef patty you love. The only way to make the pepperoni bacon king tastier was to add chipotle mayo, barbecue sauce, cheese, lettuce, and tomato and serve it on a soft potato bun. So when you want a better burger, check out the pepperoni bacon king or try the new crispy chicken pepperoni bacon king. But get yours now because they're only here for a limasa. <laughs> Great news. Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356-0249 or 323-5200. Your health is important. Don't trust it with just anyone. Welcome to New Life Natural Vegetation Cell Food Limited. We stock an extensive range of health foods, alternative medicines, and organic produce with a wide variety of special dietary foods, herbal teas, and herbal medicines. New Life also carries natural, organic, and environmentally friendly soaps, body lotions, and other skincare products. Stop by our state-of-the-art alkaline deli and try our all-healthy and all-natural tasty choices. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff can answer any questions you may have. We offer on-site consultations on nutrition, diet, and healthy alternatives to disease and ailments. New Life cares about you and your health needs. We're located in the Independence Drive Business Park, East Street South, south of the Independence Roundabout. Visit our website at www. Dot newlife1020.com Let your food be your medicine. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, streaming audio.com and the Guardian Radio app, Nassau, Bahamas. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and CEO Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, live and in full effect, just having a conversation about what's happening around the country, around the world, because we have significant implications about people being able to see us, whether it's from our parliament perspective, whether it's from the Royal Bahamas Police Force and the allegations of being able to be woven with corruption, so forth and so on. We are looking at this and I am only asking a question. I just want to be decent. I'm sitting here with my very good friend, Garth Roseborough, being able to talk to us about these things and chop it down. The lines are open if you want to be a part of the thing. I just want to ask. I just want to be decent. See, how, oh Lord, how can I say this to you? How can I say this to you? Your, your issue is not that you're corrupt. And this is, I'm talking to the PLP. The issue, let's, let's do this for everyone. I don't believe that all these men are corrupt. I believe that every bait you shouldn't eat. Every bait you shouldn't eat. I watch a little, uh, you know, these have these kind of comics. Uh, you could go on Facebook and in the back of the newspaper, you could see these comics. And one of the comics always, I, may, I laugh at it when the shark is underwater and he has a little floaty in his hand in the shape of a human. And he pushes the floaty up above water and saying, help, help, help. And as you swim towards believing that you're helping someone, the shark is waiting to devour you. This is the issue that I see in politics more specifically and pronounced in the PLP. Mm. You are moving towards what you think is assisting while simultaneously assisting yourself. And you're being devoured because a trap is set up for you. I just want to be decent. God, I can't say what I want to tell you, how I want to structure it for you. But I need you to understand that everything, every bit ain't for you to eat. 
So, so okay. So you have what you call opportunistic fish, correct? Okay. So if the shark eats the individual diving in to save and to rescue, then what's left behind is left for opportunistic fish. If what you're saying is theoretically correct, then are you saying that the free national movement is an opportunistic fish? I'm saying that the free national movement, in many instances, from a historic standpoint, if we look at it, uh, may have a panoramic view to identify all the players in the game. I don't get it. Because what I, I can't see... I go deeper than this. Because what I see Gosh. that's left after all of the devouring takes place is we go from the PLP and then we put in the free national movement. Mm -hmm. So you, you're saying there are no scandals, no international okay, scandals in the something. tenure of the, of the free national movement. Let me fix this for you. So there's no shock that tears up the free national movement. The what shock pulls only down tears the, down the PLP. What pulled, exactly. Now now what, the shock. But what pulls, down the PL, what pulls down the free national movement is the PLP. Because How? the PLP is a shock unto itself. They're the oldest political organization in this country, and they know the ways of the people. They know the ways of the water. They know the ways of the pilchers. They know where our strength, our weaknesses, our opportunities, and the threats exist. They are the sharks from a political standpoint in this country. And when they are not in governance, and they only have time to focus on devouring you, the PLP coming to get you. Their campaigns are always strong. They're articulate. They're insightful. They get all their P's and Q's together, and they are good at campaigning you cannot beat the PLP. But when the FNM finds themselves to be able to move towards leadership, there seems to always be a wind that continues to be able to propel them to this position. Case in point, you yourself indicated that Michael Pintard was not necessarily one that possessed the qualities, in so many words, the qualities mm -hmm. of the listening. leadership. Go ahead. The qualities of a leadership that we expected to see in this caliber of leadership for yes, a free national yes, movement. I've said that. You said that. I've said that time and time again. I'm the you first, said that. first person to say it on media. However, yes. as soon as this sort of uh, issue happened with the PLP and an external thing comes out, all of a sudden, bam, he get momentum. No. Now, you say the momentum ain't last. No. No, but guess what? You showed a mace of the window last week, Wednesday it was. Yes? Mm-hmm. And what was the next news thing that we heard? JCNP. Did I not say Chonkaloo next? I saw, of course Am I a prophet? That is, Am I a righteous man? You didn't bring your prophet. Well, your show. What did I, I said last week Wednesday? We were talking about Saxon in the Valley in short order. You don't remember no mason, no stick, going to the window. Now, based on what you just said, I want you to listen to what you just said. Michael Pintard now is taking an opportunity to now gain greater traction. Yes? Mm-hmm. I have always said, Michael Pintard, you need to be strong. In other words, for the Progressive Little Party to be you so strong. You and Lincoln Bean said the Go ahead. No, no. Lincoln Bean say what I say. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no mistake. They're saying to teach my friggin' thunder. <laughs> Not to God. When, when, when you all <laughs> make me Those, custody. No custody. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> you all coming close. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, help me, Lord. Hold me down today. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead. I am staying as a leader of, of an organization. You have to develop your party to be so strong that you now also become a shark. You cannot remain a guppy. And that's what we have in the free national movement right now. Guppies. The whole leadership is guppy. Come on, man. Grow some teeth. Grow some fins. You understand? Grow some gills. And, and, and become the strength that the Bohemian people desire. Yes, the PLP is strong. Yes, there is a deterrent out there that wants to bring down the PLP. Okay. But you cannot always be opportunistic. Being opportunistic is like being a, a prostitute or, or, on Dowsville Street. Wake up, man, and, 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 and grow some, some testicles. How about Jesus, help me. Don't, don't what time is it? I can radio. leave now because I, I can't, can't take it. I can't take it. Don't cuss on the people radio. That's oh, the praise be to Jesus. I, do you understand what I say to you, though? Man, you get me hot. I want you to understand what I'm saying to you. Man, this is the end of the year. I'm supposed but to be celebrating eating turkey. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So why you got me so hot today? Not the same us. This is the issues that came to the forefront. You think Almighty. if the indictment was being built from night from the 2021, you think they had to bring it up before Christmas? Right before it's Christmas. They're going to bring it up next and year. right before Trump reached. But why are they bring it up now? Because it's the opportune time. Okay, that's all I'm trying to explain to you. Opportune time. Why? For who? To bring down and to build up. But I thought only God is bringing down government and build them up. 
Well, you, you see how God works in mysterious ways. This is a lot what you're doing here. I only want to be decent as I structure I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to structure this thing for you accordingly. I'm saying to you, Jesus. anytime we see the PLP coming in, it is on their own dime, their own strength, and their campaigning power. Yes. Anytime. Excuse me. A freshman, all these things like that. Strong campaigns. Yeah. PLP. In. Some R. Kelly music. In. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In. Yeah. You understand me? Oh, yeah. Talk to me. They got me out in the, the thing I'm si- sitting down watching all that because I can't go out here. T-shirt. I can't, listen, I can't go to the PLP uh, uh, rally. <laughs> they can see you. Yeah, they can see me. I, but I'm watching this. Well, you, and I right out there with my hand open up. I believe I can fly. Your T-shirt should be full. City of gold. Yeah, I, I out here because the campaign's strong. Yeah, man. Uh, drones in the air. They got the whole thing. They got the fireworks coming off the stage. Uh, I'm, oh my God. I love this, man. I won't go to the campaign now. I won't go they, to, they, to the, the rally. They and cars and taxi. They're already blowing their horn. Listen, the, the PLP got the thing <laughs> busting in your community all day. Checking on, check on the world. All day. Collect Guinness. All day. <laughs> but life. The PLP comes in on their strength. Sturdy. Of knowing who the Bohemian people are. <laughs> the FNM comes in on... The issues that surround the PLP, including what Hubert Ingram said. With what, did Hub- you, what did Hubert Ingram say? With the- just wait. Yeah, just wait. <laughs> just wait. Yeah. You know the PLP is going to? Implode. Okay. He didn't say that. He say, bank up, blank up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said on people radio. Yeah. yeah. I just want to let you know. I told you all this. I said on the third year, for some reason, the PLP always implodes. Okay. I said that. This I is said that. <laughs> this is I understand. Nah, but I'm saying to you, it is see, it seems as though the free national movement has gotten has gotten a second wind in their sail. No. Yes, this is a second wind. There ain't no second wind. This is second. There ain't no second wind, man. They still the same place they was before. It's just that the PLP just messing up. This one I don't like. I do not a, like it. Excuse me, but it's this, by default. This, this, I don't like the default. You're missing case. the point, sir. I, what point? The point is, is that this is how the F and M catches their sail to the land that they're looking for, not by being able to use their proverbial oars. They have always waited for that wind to come, because this is embedded in the party. Just wait. The PLP gonna mess up. Okay, so let me say this then. So when the PLP messes up and we, we, we the F and M gets to the shore. What am I going to now expect from leadership that doesn't have any proverbial oars that you speak about to take us anywhere else? But that is not what the concern is. What's that, the concern? That has never been the concern What's of the, the concern? FNM. The, they have never been concerned about what is going to be the leadership style and capability when the FNM gets to shore. Their only concern was is that we no longer have the PLP. That is where the victory exists. No, man. I believe they felt confident in Papa's ability, but right now, everybody who ain't here. But this is what I'm trying to say to you. Right now, every behemoth is concerned. This is the first time I've, I've seen so many concerned citizens in this country. Right now, everyone is like, oh my God, this is what's going on? But who is next? We know who's supposed to be next. But, okay, I got a call 11.30 in the night from my friend in Fox Hill. You know my friend asked me? Could you see the free national movement leadership representing us before kings, emperors, and rulers and presidents around the world and being strong for the Bahamas? Yes. You see that? Of course. You see the F and M You but uh, if Lyndon Pedlin could do it as a young man who I never had no exposure and no experience in these particular areas, I say him. you wouldn't think these men and m- women who have already understand the elk. I said the politics, leadership of the F and M. Of course they could do Michael it. Michael Pintard, Shannon Cartwright, and Dwayne Sanchez of every. He's an articulate, insightful man that has access to all manner of men who have been in these particular positions before. They can do it. They can do it. And you're confident. And them? Yeah. I'm confident if they don't get pause. The, watch me. I have to pause. And Why? Because my diplomacy got to kick in. Let it. Let it. Let do the it. Holy Ghost guide your let answer, it, my let friend. Let it kick in and do the thing. Right? Yeah, you feel so, confident. Watch the pause. Pause. Boom. I'm confident if the free national movement is afforded an opportunity to be able to find leadership in this country, with this trifecta that exists in the FNM, yes. with leader, deputy leader, and chairman at the same position, and all of them could win their seats, and the FNM finds victory. I'm confident that they can be able to sit amongst kings and, and, and queens and be able to articulate the things of this country. I'm confident. I, I don't believe that these people okay. are not insightful. I don't believe that these men are not capable. I do believe that the nature of the organization 
is to wait for the PLP to mess up. Okay, so 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 I I, I want to do a contrast. I, I see your, your phone. The line, right the lines lit right up. Yeah, Go I ahead. see. I see your. I, I want to do a contrast. Philip Brave Davis, who has been in politics for all these tens of years, we have Deputy Leader Chester Cooper, who is a very well known business astute mind, and we have a Chairman Fred Mitchell, who of course we all know is intelligent and knows He's brilliant. and brilliant. These three men have not put us in a, in, in a position of strength over these last three and a half years. Are you trying to convince me no. that Michael Pinnard, Shannon Cartwright, and Dwayne Sands can do better? I have to fix this for you. I ask you the question. I have to fix this for you. I have to fix this for you. The issues that the PLP suffer right now is not caused by this trifecta of leadership in the PLP. It's not caused by Philip Brave Davis. This is the definition I'm looking for. Go I ahead. Look, I look in, I'm trying to get something to you. Yes, go ahead. Philip Brave Davis... Uh, Chester Cooper and uh, Fred Mitchell mm -hmm. did not bring about these particular issues. Okay. Okay? Okay. These are external issues that bomb PLP. There seems to be a Trojan horse at the gate. I get that, Howard. Of the PLP. I'm asking you. They are fighting external issues, and we are get, we are grading them based upon how they handle external issues. They didn't get the internal issues yet. But... <laughs> But what I'm saying to you again, Howard, is that with the ability of Philip Brave Davis, Chester Cooper, and Fred Mitchell, all we got for three and a half years until this point is climate change. With their ability, with their knowledge, with their experience. And you're telling me that what I call, in quote, weak leadership in the free national movement, that they could do a superior job based on their inexperience that these men have not been able to accomplish in this three and a half years. That's this, what I'm asking this, you. This is a complex conversation. Complex. I, I know I, this. I, but I have an answer for that that I won't share on the radio. <laughs> That's Telephone what, call on the line, go ahead. This is this Howard Grant. Oh, Jesus Lord. Telephone call on the line, go ahead. Yes, I'm here. Howard. Hey, Anton. Yeah, Howard and God. Yeah. Hey. God. Yeah. You're doing a good job in there. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to get this song solid right. <laughs> I, I must need to add some more pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Howard. Hey. You got to step up to the plate, my brother. I right here. You got to step up to the plate. I right here. You got to knock it on the park. I right here. You're afraid. You can't be prepared to talk about one side and afraid to talk about the next, my brother. You got to be prepared to lay it all on the line with all entities, with the same level of enthusiasm and tenacity, my brother. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come mm -hmm. on now. But I got to be decent, though. There's certain things that I... See, see I'm, not at, I'm not at freedom. I don't have the, the kind of... Uh, <laughs> I just, I just got to be decent. You uh, know I can't say what I want to say, how I want to say it on the radio. I can't. You know that. But I'm trying to paint a picture for you. And if you uh, don't realize that this is a squint, that you can see what I'm saying. You, you're going to need to squint just a little bit to see what I'm saying. And if you realize with uh, one squint that I am not implying and putting any implications of anything negative on the PLP, I am saying to you that no. external forces against the PLP can continues to pull you down. All right. Now, the question is, who are the external forces? I ain't got the, I ain't got liberty to say. Let's open to this conversation, Howard, before you tell me, oh, I'm doing, I got to go. Um, um, now, let's, let's start off with the former prime minister, Hubert Minister. He misled you, me. You say three scandals from Ingram and then one major scandal for Minister. I need you to put them on the table, sir. Well, sir, unlike you, who is prepared to no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't. You can't do that. I don't. <laughs> look here, look here. Hey, eh? unlike you, who is prepared to talk about what you perceive as CLP scandals, but I guarantee you, you can't put nothing on the record in terms of con conviction, right? I am, and I'm able to, because I, like I said, the Guardian, go ahead. Carried, the Guardian has carried all of the information, but unlike you, Howard, I will not, I will not seek to drag any further some of the families who has been hurt no. In the in these convictions, wrongly, when other persons no, who are the top, who are the top, should have been the ones carrying Anton, the Anton, that is perceived as the high road that you seek to take. However, that, that's is, a cop-out. It it's me, a cop-out. If the information you exists, on. you got to tell me. Let me. I said it again. If the information exists and you have it, and you could be able to say three scandals for the free national movement and uh, one major scandal uh, from an international standpoint, I'm here. You know I can say, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Let me, or, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one question, and, I would, and then I, I will hop into what I, what I call you to say. Let me ask you one question. Do you recall the BPL scandal underneath Hubert Ingram? Yes. What was it about? 
called scandal that had to deal no, with... It was, it was, no, it wasn't. It wasn't an international scandal. It was international. It was brought about international, and the local press picked it up from the international press. It was not local. This was, was when this was when the allegations were made that certain persons... It was an allegation. Okay, this there is when... Conviction. Okay. There was a conviction, my brother. So you identified this as an international scandal? That, that, that is one of the international scandals. And guess what, Howard? That is one of the scandals that hurt this country really badly as it relates to BPL because as a small island developing state, whenever we spend big money on infrastructure, we have got to get it right the first time. We cannot, we can ill afford to continue to go back to the interna international market borrowing hundreds of millions of dollars to, to support infrastructure at BPL and get it wrong. We do not have them kind of deep pockets, Howard. So that didn't just bring embarrassment to us. It, it, it hurts us as it relates to advancing the um, stability and the advancement of clean energy in this country. So it hurt us on many different levels. Not to mention, not to mention, there were names that were called during the, during, during the um, um, conviction, during the course of the conviction, both senior FNM members of cabinet. I remember. Outside of the prime minister. I remember. Outside of the prime minister. So I remember. I'm not going to get into the name calling. No, out. no, like you only had to say that. So you put BPL scandal. I identify it as a national scandal. You identify it as an international scandal. It you was, got three more to go. It involved an internationally um, um, traded company. So it was not a local scandal. You got three more to go. Let's go. No, no, no. I, I, won't, I won't get to my point. That I okay, go, go. Give me a point. Give me a point. Okay, thank you. Howard, I, I've been recognizing for quite some time now that the opposition and, 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 and members of a desperate attempt, a desperate appeal and reach for power, which they would not see in the 2026 election. I, mm -hmm. I assure you of that. They would not see it in the 2026 election now. To, and and I've, I've always maintained this position. Pintar is young enough that I believe if he can stay to the top, he will see the um, position of prime ministership in this country. But it just ain't going to be in 2026. But it ain't going to be in the 2026, <laughs> baby. No, stop. No, stop. <laughs> I like it. Go ahead. Let me get back to my point now, Howard. Go ahead. They are holding on to this thing, trying to create a false narrative locally that the entire Royal Bahamas Police Force and now Defense Force uh, reputations on the country. The entire <laughs> Royal Bahamas <laughs> Defense Force? <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> the entire Royal Bahamas Defense yeah, Force? That's how they are positioning no. their statement, mm -mm. Howard. That's why I'm saying it this way, to make my point. The, um, the, uh, the, no. the, the Royal Bahamas Police Force and Defense Force, between the two agencies, they have mm. over 7,000 officers serving. Three officers have been indicted. Three officers of over 7,000 officers. How desperate do you have to be to try and reach and make it seem as though the entire organization's reputation is being completely tarnished? How desperate do you have to be, our mm -mm. To do that to your own Royal Bahamas Police Force, Royal, that reminds me of the statement that former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram, I mean Hubert Minnis, made internationally when he went abroad and said that the Bahamas is a corrupt country and that we are losing $500 million to corruption. But guess what? In his four and a half years of Prime Ministership, he wasn't able to collect $1 from dollars that he claimed we are losing to corruption. False narratives, man, Howard. False narratives. It's nonsensical, it's idiotic, and it's unpatriotic. Mm -hmm. We need to stop with this garbage. Mm -hmm. You cannot convict an entire country. Well, look, Howard, in the United States of America, they have had, over the last eight, nine years, 15 to 17 DEA, DEA, drug enforcement agents, convicted. Do you look any way, any way, or, or, or in any shape or any form down on their organization? Do you say that they're destroyed? Do you say that they're uncredible? Do you say that they're untrustworthy? Do you ever, do you ever make See, the statement? Would you ever on. make the right. statement? Anton, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anton, this is this almost like a slippery slope. Yeah, I let, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because oh. if you if you want to be able to, and I gotta let you go. I get the lines laid right up. I thank you so very kindly, Anton. I really do appreciate you uh, for being able to do that. But I just want to be able to say before I go to the next call, uh, it's a slippery slope because y y you're comparing apples and oranges. I didn't. I didn't like that one. 
All right? I didn't like it. What I'm saying is that if you, if you look at what's happening in the United States of America, we've watched movies about it. We've seen it play out on MSNBC. We've seen it played out on CNN. We've seen these particular things. They always identify their man because they have a division internally wrapped in their organization, wrapped in their government, internal affairs, internal affairs that's always sitting neutral. You know, you know how I felt about that conversation just now, and, I, and Antoine is my good brother, right? But he, he first said how that he is a PLP. He, he, he just stayed on No matter what the PLP does, he is a PLP. Now, you know, I have a problem with that fundamentally, right? Um, not that I'm a party person. I'm not PLP, F and M, anything. I'm a Bahamian, right? I, I stick to that. But let me tell you, the only individual, I can say quickly since uh, your lines are lit up, Howard. Yeah, the only person that can impede a free national movement victory at this particular time is Hubert Alexander Menace. I'm going to leave it right there. Why you say that? Because if he interferes, you split. If they unite, there are so many people on the street. I, I spoke to a PLP general this morning on the corner of Cowpen Road and Blue Hill Road. The young man walked, walked up to me and said, Goss, I, I like listening to you. He said, I've just finished trying to distribute flyers in Bamboo Town. You know, I live right here in Sevenless. I know him and his mother. He said his mother loves God. My God, ain't nobody won the, fly, the flyers. Uh, why don't you come and run in Bamboo Town? Run with the red team because this, this woman gone. And he's a general in Seven Hills. He's Patricia, a general. Patricia gone. Yeah, that's what he is saying. But he's a general. He's on the ground. So he's my a thing, general for who? The PLP? Yeah, for, the, for Patricia DeVoe in, in Bamboo Town. can be. Because okay. Patricia got all her people on lock. So that's what you think. Well, if 300 people could show up and you call, boss, that's boss, heavy. Boss, listen to me again. Don't worry about the people who showing up to call. How much people live in the constituency? Let me take a next telephone call. call How much people live in the constituency? Quick, you know, 300. Go ahead, caller. Let's call caller. Next call. Caller, go ahead. Caller, go ahead. Hey. Howard. Hi. How are you? I'm good, man. Brian Brown. Hey, what's up, Brian? <laughs> All is well, man. What you say? Talk fast, but you gonna make one of you that slow? No, no, you know, I, <laughs> Howard, I be here, been, you been calling for me, man. I'm here working hard for free national movement, making sure we get rid of the government, Howard. You know, we are now serious, serious point in this country, Howard, and we ought to know. That the free national movement, the leader, is fighting for the people, making sure we keep this country in the right path and keep this government, because this government at the point where they look like they, they killing democracy. Wow! Okay? Wow! Killing it. Uh, killing wow! It. Wow! And we must stand up. Every Bahamian must stand up for our country. This this is not about the free national movement. This is about the country that we live in. When the PLP are gone in the next few months. We're going to be as bohemians. Next few months? Uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they didn't go on. I, I got to let everyone know you're my cousin. Cousin, let me, let me say something to you. Use the word fighting, right? It's a very active word, fighting, very aggressive fighting. word, right? You could be fighting, but not fighting strong enough, you know. This is all I'm saying about the free national movement. It almost seems as if you're, you're going to win if you ever win by default. It's not going to be based on your arsenal. It's not going to be based on your ability. Yeah. I, I, I'm saying to you something is missing. And I and I don't like it because the strength of the of the opposition is the strength of the nation. God, I'll say this to you: It takes more than the leaders fight. It takes every Bahamian and all of those who aspiring to be candidate in the next general election. It takes all of us to fight. Okay, so answer me this, okay. Senator, because I, I know I know I know you're working. I know you're working on the ground. All the other people sitting in those classes are they working on the ground too? Well, I won't say all. But this is why you're weak. You got to show me some strength on the ground. You can't just talk this thing, man. If, God, if you are going God, to sit in that God, class to run in the election, <laughs> we need God, to know who you are. Listen, your eye leader already. All of them came out. The, on 2026, Wednesday. you're going to see FNM candidates all over NASA working. When? Okay? January of 2026. Why are you ain't coming for Christmas? We need Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> the people are giving out their last turkeys right now, so they take those ones with the time being, okay? They're giving out their last set of turkeys. <laughs> because trust me, the Bahamian people will not tolerate this. With the and, listen, and listen, I'll tell you this. Go ahead. The PLP always does this. This is nothing new. <laughs> this is nothing new. Let me hear it. Nothing new. All right, Brian. We'll talk later. Okay? 
But it's good to see you. Yeah, take care, man. Do well. I appreciate you, man, Brian. Thank you so much, no ladies and gentlemen. Brian Brown all the way down there in, in uh, Golden Isles. Yeah, that's where you used to Golden live. Isles, where I used to live. You still right? registered to vote there? Yeah? Go out. Well, no, no, no. I won't be registered <laughs> in the next election, right? Golden Eyes, he's doing his thing, guys. I want to be, but let me get back home and talk about this. You spoke in, in June 1st about yes. the fact that the momentum that exists at this particular time won't be sustained in the free national I movement. did say it. You said that in June 1st. Yes. Then we watched a significant plummet in the FNM. Yes. December 4th came and we saw that spike again. Yes. For the free national movement. Yes. Now... They're doing some things to maintain that momentum. They are. They are. They yeah, are. Let's talk about it. Uh, FNM Blitz. Let's talk about they it. They all over the place. After the break. Let's talk about it after the break, guys. Quick break. and we'll be right back after this. Foundation. <laughs> Tired of digging through mountains of paper? It's time to go digital with Blue Marlin Archives. Secure your documents for the future with eco-friendly, cutting-edge digitization services. Proudly serving the Bahamas. Access your files securely anytime, anywhere. Clear out the clutter and preserve what's important, whether it's for schools, businesses, or personal use. Blue Marlin Archives has custom solutions just for you. For a limited time only, enjoy 15% off digitization services. Contact us now on WhatsApp 5004. Blue Marlin Archives. Securing your documents for the future. Standard Services on Shirley Street, your everything Christmas store, has the perfect gifts just for you. Now until December 24th, you can get 5 to 50% off everything in store, plus 20% off Christmas lights, 25% off artificial Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, and all toys. Standard Services, just around the block with everything in stock. They have everything you need to keep everyone happy this Christmas season. Get the perfect gifts, plus 5 to 50% off everything at Standard Services on Shirley Street, your everything Christmas store. Open Sunday, December 22nd. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. This holiday season, stay connected to the ones you love with Alive. Switch today and get 5 gigabytes of data free with your first 30-day plan. Whether you're sharing holiday moments or enjoying Junkanuwan Bay, Alive keeps you connected all season long. Visit BeAlive.com to make the switch today. It's good to be alive. Ho, ho, ho! Get ready for Jingle All the Pay Grand Event with Everybody Wins. You can win a Cybertruck, a split of 50, loads and loads of more cash prizes via Spin the Wheel and the Cash Vault. It all goes down December 27th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the FML Lawn. To earn a ticket to win, spend $20 between December 9th and 27th at participating Everybody Wins stores. The more tickets, the more chances to win. It's going to be live DJ, food, prizes, and surprises. It's the Jingle All the Pay Grand Event with Everybody Wins. Game responsibly. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant and your company, uh, just kind of wrapping this thing up on a Wednesday. This is a hot conversation sitting here with my good friend, Garth Roseborough, just being able to um, uh, uh, kind of uh, identify the thread that exists in these particular spaces and having good conversation about those things and doing as much as I can be able to come to that line. That's all. That's, we can come to a line. That's all. On public radio, we have the responsibility of being able to ensure that we don't um, charge the atmosphere with certain things, mm -hmm. but we have a responsibility that you have to look beyond. There is a, a, a horizon. If you just lift up your head from your foot, because all of us, um, many of us from a political standpoint, from a social standpoint, educational standpoint, community standpoint, spiritual standpoint, we only look at our feet, our immediate position, our location that we're in now. But if we raise our head just a bit, mm -hmm. 
you'd realize that this is bigger than what you've been seeing. That's all I want to say to you. This is bigger. This is bigger. There is significant interference. There should be flags being thrown. And the only thing that you can see is your politics because you have your eyes on your feet. That's it. That's it. If you raise your head, if you move away from that tree in the forest, you can see the entire forest if you just get away from this one tree that you're in front of. They can't get rid of that tree. You can see the forest for the tree. If you just shift your position and look, you have to ask yourself questions. Well, why the hell? Why? Stuck on the tree. Why? That's all you could do is ask, just ask yourself why. Stuck. Stuck on and I promise you, that answer will come running after you. If you ask yourself, well, why? Well, why? It, you believe that the answer is always the idea that these men are inherently corrupt. Let me ask you a quick question. I don't believe that. I can ask you a quick question, Howard. I woke up this morning with this on my mind, and I thank you for inviting me to your show once again. When was the last time you saw the chairman of the PLP stand in a pothole in the road? Have I, I, that was the first time I saw him. I can't remember him doing that. That was on Village Road. Right there on Village Road and right there on East Shirley Street. Under the PL, under the FNM. Under the FNM government, right? Yes, yes. He had a problem with the potholes in the road, right? I can ask you one question. We still got potholes? Yeah. So why ain't standing in the potholes now and asking us to fix it? And see, his see, 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 true representation is, true representation is consistent. Too. If you had a genuine issue with the hole in the road for the people, Clay you'd still stand. be standing in the hole in the road. Nobody. But I don't mean me. I don't mean nobody. It's no Clay and no nobody else. Me. Clay. If Clay. I got a problem Clay with Sweeney. you, I don't change. Clay Sweeney could now stand in the hole in the road. No, man. That's his portfolio. I got a problem with the road. hole in the road. When he stood there, he said he has a problem with the hole he in the road. He don't have to stand in the hole no more. He could say and around the table in the cabinet, Clay, you need to take care of this, this, and this, this on the docket to be able to execute these particular things. You don't have a problem with the road, 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 road no more. You don't have a problem with the road. You can't see his advocacy because his advocacy exists behind closed doors in the cabinet now where the responsibility exists at the same time. But we still got a hole in the road. I believe. This is what I believe. I I don't care no water for Fred. But if Clay decide not to do it, you still got to go there and stand in the road, in the hole in the road. No, no. No, man, you can't can't get away with that, Howard. No, no, hold on. If Clay doesn't want to do it, you do it. Okay. The one thing that has been consistent about the PLP until most recently that we've seen some things kind of spilling out um, um, that should not spill out based upon some players who don't understand how this thing is laid out. Okay. Okay. Listen in. The one thing that we know that has been consistent about the PLP, their internal laundry stays internal. They don't go out to wash their clothes. <laughs> Nobody knows what color their drawers is. <laughs> this is this is historic about the PLP. However, some rogue people who you let in the PLP who only came in the organization for themselves, they, understand how this goes. they don't understand how this goes. So things will slip out. So now they're letting things slip out, slip out, slip out because they don't understand the code. This is Howard Grant. Now watch it out. There are some advocates that Howard. exist in the PLP. Howard, you just say? You know what you just say. But I say. We got this whole corruption thing going on right now and ain't nothing coming out of the room. We ain't hearing nothing yet. You ain't gonna hear nothing either. That's based on the code. The, so you think they know? This listen to me. I can't say that on the people. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think I stupid? <laughs> you think I do? You think I can say that on the radio? <laughs> now I can say this to you. Uh-huh. I can say this to you. Uh-huh. It was peculiar to me uh-huh. um, that I look, in the, I look in the Tribune uh-huh. and then the Prime Minister says that U.S. hasn't given corrupt officials ID. That's peculiar to me. That's what they said. That's that's a, that was a peculiar thing to me. That's peculiar to me. And that's still me. in your mind and you still that job. That's peculiar to me. <laughs> it's, it's peculiar. <laughs> I just have to be decent as I say this. Oh, thank it's, God for this laugh. That was mad earlier. Right? That fellow run me hard today. Thing. Now, I won't say this. Yeah, go ahead. The PLP are their bishops and kings for a reason on this chessboard of politics. They are the highest of players, the highest caliber of players. And Fred Mitchell, at his particular capacity, is one of the highest players who understands how this thing goes. Of course. If you remember the WikiLeaks... In- oh, jeez, you're going deeper. I got to go deeper, too, so you could understand the thinking of these people. Oh, my God. If you remember, everyone was singing like a canary. Tweet, 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 tweet. And Fred Mitchell, <laughs> who was Captain Bahamas, 
That's how I see him. I see him as Captain Bahamas. He's two things. He's Captain PLP and Captain Bahamas. Flying red. Right? Yeah. He's only Captain Bahamas when he leaves this, the country. Yes, sir. But when he comes back, he's Captain PLP. Let's just be oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, watch me. PLP. When you, all the way. Uh, today and always, it's PLP. All the way. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> I love that tagline. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's yeah. good. It's good, right? So, I'm, I'm saying this to you. Uh-huh. I want you to hear me. The PLP does not let their information out. New rogue uh, unaffiliated people who don't understand that the PLP was, they opened their doors. In 2017, they opened the doors. You remember this? Oh, you could come in. Yeah. They let people in. Yeah. Despite the fact that their tent was humongous, yeah. they let people in. Now, you had to, you're supposed to toe a line Isn't that before you get to the forefront. So in opposition, they let you in. Yeah. And when in government, they keep you out. No, no, no. You can't get in in government because you don't know the code. You don't know how these things go. So, so they leave them behind. No, don't leave them behind. You, you're taking care of them and you leave them in good proximity, but you can't give them responsibility because they can make you look bad. So you give them crumbs. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't call it Trickle crumbs. Trickle down effect. Crumbs. You, you don't call it crumbs. What do we call it? You, you, shingles? You, 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 <laughs> Jesus, I'm just asking questions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shingles is one of them, eh? No, you don't call it shingles. Okay. I'm lot. just asking. So I want to say this to you. The PLP know how to keep their things tight. All these issues that come about ain't never come about out of the PLP. Like a virgin. Like. That's it. They didn't come out out of the PLP. Mm-hmm. It didn't spit. The FNM is bringing you the information. I was in a meeting tonight. Bam. This is what they said. Aren't you an FNM in the meeting? Yeah, but I need to let you know the injustices that exist in these particular spaces, and this is wrong. My friend Richard. See, in the meetings. <laughs> My, they might, they might, they might t- see, see the FNM had this. They have this kind of a fantasy idea about what democracy should be. And they have this fantasy? waltz. Yes, yeah, it's a, it's a why fantasy. Is it a fa- why it's, is it a fantasy? It's a fallacy also. Why? It's not real. Why? It's not real because there are rules and regulations that govern what you do. And you need to know for the sustainability and uh, th- that kind of a measure to ensure that your party finds itself to victory, you got to play your part. You cannot be AWOL in a position that requires you to be able to carry out what you need to do. Do your part. This is what I was telling the third party people, Howard. You and I had this conversation. These third party people, they have a fantasy about what governance is and how they can be so transparent, so accountable, and, and how they're going to go to the world and tell the world we got this aragonite, this natural resources, and this is what we demand. It don't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. See, but you have to understand that. They don't and understand it, listen, that. Listen, it takes time to understand these things. Oh, my God. It takes time to understand these things. When people used to say things like, yeah, but you need to come around to the headquarters more. You need to come around to these meetings. You need to come around to these things. Show your face. That ain't just to show your face. That is for you to be able to absorb information and understand how things go. The culture. That to put you in proximity to men and women who have been off and served the country and yes. came back and know how these things go. Yeah. You brand new. Yeah. You can get all this money. We can, We should give all Bohemians a hundred million dollars. And Jesus Christ, where is this money coming from? Where you get this? Where you get this? Yeah. This idea from? But proxy insight and insight would have been able to inform you of how to articulate your position to be able to empower people. That's what it's all about. But they don't do that, so they skip some lines. But you know what they said when they first came in the third party? They said you don't need an education to go to a house assembly. You remember when they said that? You don't need education. These are the type of narratives they have in this country. No wonder why you're talking about this outside influence that comes in when the PLP is in power and begins to do certain things. We don't, we don't, we don't educate ourselves sufficiently enough to ward these things off. And there's no sovereignty in this space. None. There's no sovereignty. Sovereignty is also a fallacy. It's an idea. It's a fantasy. Let's talk about that after the break. It's not real. Because they don't think so. It's not real. They think we're sovereign. It's intangible. It's something that you speak of that you never see. They said me. It's not. They said me and Motley them. They sovereign, and we won't be sovereign like Barbados. That's what they say. Yeah, but the tangibility of that it takes a fight, and this is what we're seeing right now. What's happening with the PLP? What's happening with corruption? What's happening with around the country? What's happening with all these things? This is the fight that the PLP and the FNM needs to fight for the sovereignty that we've been talking about. Is they it, don't fight this fight. Is it possible? Of course it's possible. No, I don't it be- starts with Bray Davis right now. Climate change? He, no, no, no. Forget about climate change. He needs to fight again and take a stern position. And I'm talking about in his cabinet. Let's no. take a quick break, guys. Be right back after this. This Christmas, Fidelity Bank is still the one. 
with one easy monthly payment, one fantastic way to save, and one chance to win $5,000 in extra cash. Make that move to Fidelity Bank and apply for a personal loan for a chance to win extra cash today. Call 356-7764 for more details. Fidelity, we're good for you. Honey Baba Girl, hot flash, sweet and spicy or new. Signature, hot, hot, wish. What's your flavor, babe? Roasted garlic parmesan, mmm, tastes so good, chicken. Yeah, you know. Ghost pepper, pepper, wish. Popeyes, Popeyes. Now available at Popeyes in Nassau. Popeyes. Popeyes, Popeyes. Your health is important. Don't trust it with just anyone. Welcome to New Life Natural Vegetation Cell Food Limited. We stock an extensive range of health foods, alternative medicines, and organic products with a wide variety of special dietary foods, herbal teas, and herbal medicines. New Life also carries natural, organic, and environmentally friendly soaps, body lotions, and other skincare products. Stop by our state-of-the-art alkaline deli and try our all-healthy and all-natural tasty choices. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff can answer any questions you may have. We offer on-site consultations on nutrition, diet, and healthy alternatives to disease and ailments. New Life Care, we're located in the Independence Drive Business Park, East Street South, south of the Independence Roundabout. Visit our website at www.newlife1020.com. Let your food be your medicine. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. Six members of the opposition were suspended from the House of Assembly for sittings for two sittings on Wednesday morning after House Speaker Patricia DeVoe expressed disappointment in their actions in the House of Assembly. Guys, pick up the Guardian. You can be able to read about it. Breaking the six members of the opposition were suspended for the House of Assembly for two sittings after the Speaker Patricia DeVoe expressed disappointment in their action among the suspended of the opposition with leader uh, Michael Pintard. Uh, FNM Deputy Leader Shannon Cartwright, Sinan's Member of Parliament Adrian White, Central oh. Grand Bahama Iram Lewis, East Grand Bahama Quasi Thompson, and Long Island MP Adrian Gibson. So the only person who will be allowed to enter the House of Assembly. Hubert Alexander! What are y'all doing? You're doing? They setting it up. Dude, what are y'all doing? They're setting it up. What are y'all doing? They're setting it up. Do you see what's happening here? Setting it up. The Prime Minister of Kalani? It's the Prime Minister of Kalani, right before Christmas. He can tell all his people from the House of Assembly, Merry Christmas. No one else can for the rest of this Yuletide season. Anyway, before we get out of here, let me see if I can take a telephone call. Caller, go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Next call. Caller, go ahead. Yes, hey, Howard. How are you doing? See Alan Johnson. See Alan, thank you for your week. Thank you for your holding. <laughs> thank you, my no brother. Problem. Yeah, just, just a couple of points. Yeah. Um, uh, Anton says that the free national movement was trying to make the police forces, armed forces, look bad. In fact, the free national movement is calling on this so that we could exonerate or clear the path to show that the majority of the police officers, defense force officers, customs, and other individuals are not bad. That's what we want. You can't fix what you can't measure. Uh, but what happens, what happens, though, is that... Uh, he made the statement. The question is, who made the statement about endemic corruption and criminality in the in the, the end of armed forces? It was the commission of police. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Corruption and criminality in the forces. Which commissioner? The, the one who resigned. Clayton Fernando. In his speech. Go check it out. Yeah, check the speech out again. Right. So I'm simply saying is that he recognized that there's some. He said there's. Uh, cultural. He said cultural, too. That's the word he used to. The word culture means it takes days, I mean, years, if not decades, to develop. And so it isn't something to be fixed, be done. We have a nation in crisis. 
right? Oh, just God, just for you, right? You said to get shingles on the ground. I just want you to know you're Behave, the Allen. Behave. No, no, I know. I'm just letting you know you got to first take the behemoth snow to Florida, convert it to shingles, then bring it back. You need but, to stop. Being but behave. Let's, but the, the question is that we have an international police forces around the world that understands the structure of an indictment, right? The United States law, criminal law, says that an investigation could go for up to five years. It says that five years from the time they become aware of the crime, the person must be charged, okay? But just Dr. Minnis, the former prime minister, and the former uh, national security made a statement. He says that he was in form of ongoing investigations, and all the prime ministers before can say the same thing. I'm not saying this. Mr. Brave Davis and the national security ministers and others have said that they have not been notified of any investigations in the Bahamas in the last three and a half years. Any current investigation? Current. Right. I know they might current. Current. No, because any, any closed. Because all you have to do is read the indictment. See, these are not information, right? And I tell Antoine and the rest of them, don't bring opinion to an intellectual fight. It's like bringing sticks to a gunfight. What I'm simply saying is that we don't have to make up, we don't have to say, you notice Antoine didn't deny anything, right? He didn't uh, deny Alan Nicole. He didn't deny my God and the molestation of children and other people. He didn't deny any of those, right? And I could go through way more than the five you know about, okay? Because I'm a no, data person. But the, the okay? ones I'm speaking about is only from an inter- what has been internationally no, I, projected. No, that's for you. See, you know Rodney McCurl has photographic memory, Right. I, all of us grew up, Rodney Mancur, my twin, uh, uh, 52, all of us grew up in the same neighborhood. Rodney Mancur has photographic memory. I have instant recall. This is why I don't have to go look for information when you talk to me. Mm-hmm. I can get, when, when the trigger hits me, I can give you date, times, and the people who said it, when they said it, what they were wearing, where they was, and everything else at that time. Mm-hmm. That's my curse. I believe that you have that also, because right. twins, so, twins have this kind I'm of saying, a thing. No, I'm saying so. We don't have to have this debate about trying to slant. Defend your position, right? And so in the same capacity, Guy, where you say what you want the FNM to do, the FNM is on the ground talking to the 6,000 individuals in those constituencies and all the other constituencies. We, we don't have to. Notice what I'm saying, we. And, 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 and no, Howard, I've, noticed, I've noticed you so, said that. Howard, I want you to say something. I want you to go back to January when I say to you, before the end of this year, the PLP, will re- some things will be re the PLP, right? That will make Mr. Pinta prime minister. We said the same thing in June. Yeah, we talked we talk like right? this. We did talk so, like so, this. And, I, and I, I'm saying to you, because it is there. It's their nature. But also, when you pay attention, things people say, how they say it, where they say it, and things other people say, and then behavior of things that's happening in the country, in the same capacity, the prime minister observed an uptick, a t- a doubling of the trafficking in the, of captures in the Bahamas in one year or compared to three years before. One year was doubled for the whole time of three years before. See, all of these things is when you begin to pay attention to things around. You say something is wrong with my country. Wow. Something is wrong with our country. See, Alan, I want to thank you, man. To leadership. It's 2 o'clock. It goes to leadership. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so very kindly, ladies and gentlemen. That's 2 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to be at New Life on E Street. New Life on E Street South. So we're going to be able to enjoy that and being able to talk about them. So the entire two hours of the broadcast is going to be doing uh, going live from there. But like I said to you, if you still want to be able to come with me, we can do this on Friday. Hit me up, uh, 827-0111. Just leave a text, please. Don't fight me. Leave a text, please. And we can be able to see the information there. Guys, I want to thank you so much for being able to tune in with us. Garth, I thank you so much for sitting with me today. My brother is a good, decent man. Well, this is a lot of exhale that you're doing. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we're going to see you tomorrow. God spare right here on Guarding Radio 96.9 FM, The Foundation. The fa- the fa- the fa- the, the Foundation.